This is episode 1.5. Uh, this is just to say that I've switched classes. I used to be a witch, but I discovered I'm not very good at the witch, so I went with the, the melee character. Um, he's 100% like strength-driven, uh, no cross-intelligence uh, or dexterity. Um, so I'm currently using a stone axe, and I uh, got some pretty good equipment. Uh, it's not horrible. And the things that I'm using, the I guess abilities, is cleave. Basically this swings my weapon, knocking down some people in the area. And the other thing I have is a heavy strike. Um, that's basically just a, a more forceful attack. And uh, so I've used those, and I just did... I've pretty much done exactly what I did in the first episode, except um, I cleared out a little bit more of the, the next space. Um, it's not the next, it's sort of the same where we were. Uh, I just cleared it out, and there was a, a bigger enemy in there, I think. And I got this as a reward, but this is pretty much just like cleave. It's sweep, it, it swings a, a axe or a mace in a circle, knocking back some monsters. Um, but it costs more mana, so I'm going to keep with uh, this one. It costs one less mana, so we're going to use that. Um, I also discovered... Uh, what else did I discover? Oh yes, I discovered that the stash um, works between uh, accounts. Or not accounts, but characters. Like, I had put this stuff in there when I was playing the witch, and it's still in there now. So I just got a few things... Um, I collected these boots, which require level 5, when I'm only level 4. So we're just uh, holding off on those to replace this junk. And um, I got this, a uh, very good chain belt. Um, it, it does a lot of stuff, but it doesn't really seem to be for me. It seems to be more uh, for uh, the other class. So actually, maybe I will just switch this out. This looks like it's for a witch class. This is more physical attack, my style. And that pretty much cover. Oh, and I have these. Um, one of the I found one bottle, and I got one as a quest for another reward. And uh, these bottles, which are the default ones, they recover 60 life over six seconds, uh, consume seven of 21 charges whenever you actually drink it. Um, and then these ones I got it recovers 50 life over 2.8 seconds. So it's almost as good in the in the speed department. But it also has a reduced amount recovered, um, increased recovery speed, 50% recovery applied instantly, uh, dispels frozen and chilled, which is not bad. And uh, this one here recovers 150 health over 9.7 seconds, so a little bit slower, um, but I believe it has more charges. 50% increased amount recovered, 33% reduced, reduced recovery speed. So I don't know if, if that's good or bad, but that is what we got going on here. Um, I have no quests from anybody to my knowledge except for possibly that guy which I'll just do in episode 2 uh, but here I want to see these purchase items um, I've never really looked through here um, it looks like we have uh, flasks and such and a lot of these orbs and things which um, you can apply to uh, different things uh, I haven't really looked into that kind of jazz but it looks pretty good. Um, that's one of these things I'm probably going to look at off screen. But it doesn't look like there's too much good stuff. Like that's plus or like 3% physical damage and I'm rocking a 5. So uh, there doesn't look like there's too much stuff here. Um, let's... Does this guy... That poem about this guy does exile. not sell things. So that's that. And uh, so now I just wanted to keep you updated. So episode two, you can click right into, and uh, I will be right at this location. This is just a short update.